What a do, Jive Turkeys. It's your boy Ian Elliott Carter of the Controversy. And I have a special guest with me, one of the four nerds of the Four Nerds in a Podcast. What's good? My homeboy, Robert. Welcome to the show, big homie. How you doing, man? How you doing? How you I'm doing? doing great. We had actually a great show when you guys had me on. It was hilarious. Oh, that was too much. We were, we were definitely getting in the bag hard. Like, in it the just, bag hard. It, it, was, it was just getting <laughs> just straight out ridiculous. <laughs> I didn't think they were ready for me, man. But listen, you yeah. guys got to get ready for this review because this is very a very underrated comedy that we're going to be talking about. It is Waiting, starring Ryan Reynolds. So, have you ever served before, my friend? I have. I've been in the business uh, longer than I cared with me, if I'm being honest. <laughs> How accurate is this movie? Bruh. <laughs> like, when I tell you, okay, so, everyone has, like, the proverbial, like, the shit list, if you will. Yep. You know, everybody has, like, the really good customers that you recognize, the regulars that come in. And then you have that rogue asshole yeah. who comes in and you're like, we got one. Yep, yep. <laughs> yeah, you send that back. You best believe it's going to come back fucked up. I so <laughs> promise you. If you if you aren't grossed out or anything else, you know, especially if you just if it goes on completely unnoticed, like if you just drop a pube in there and you're just like, let's just see what happens, see if they find it. It, <laughs> it, it it's, it's a cruel satisfaction whenever you just, you leave and just like, yeah. Yeah, I don't care you didn't tip me. It was totally worth watching oh, you absolutely. just eat someone's ass hair <laughs> from, in, you know, in your freaking in your spinach. Let me just say one thing. If you don't get anything out of this review that we're doing right now, treat your servers right. Treat anybody right. Yes. Especially in the in the uh, hospitality industry mm-hmm. and in the service industry and 100% the ones that handle your food. Oh, especially. Do not the ones that be food. dicks to them. Mm-hmm. Especially if they're being nice to you. All right, let's get into Waiting Noah, though, man. Listen, this is one of, uh, I'm not going to say one of Ryan Reynolds' first movies, but it was like middle ground from where he's at right now. Yeah, I like he, he had done like a few things prior that, you know, very... I, I, Van I, Wilder, right? Or? Yeah, uh, wait, I think when Van Wilder was after. It was? Okay. I think I, it might have been after. Was this before or after Blade Trinity? I don't know where. This was before, yeah. Okay. Blade Trinity was a little bit a little bit later on, I think. This is like when it, like on his, like, on the upswing for Ryan Reynolds' career okay. after that. You know, and you had a couple other names in there too, like you know, Dane Cook was Dane in there. Dane Cook was a, a cook, back, yeah. Back yeah. when Dane Cook was fucking hot back in yeah. those days, before like, they found out he was stealing jokes. Oh god, <laughs> he pulled a Mencia. Yes, he did. Uh, not as bad though. Not as bad. No, as Mencia. definitely not. Definitely as bad not as Mencia. But um, yeah, that was. I had a few other names in there, and you have other like teen heartthrob people kind of slipped in there from like other early 90s stuff and everything else so absolutely i mean it, it overall it was a really good film i think it shined a very very on point look mm-hmm. at how crazy being in that industry can actually be absolutely like i i saw this movie before i was a server i've, I've been a, i was a server for five years and i'm starting to do it again mm-hmm. uh after starting like my shift like within the first month it was pretty much the same thing except for the penis showing game. It was like literally <laughs> spot on. You did you did hit somebody with the bat the bat wing bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, they had so many creative names for this penis. They, oh my god. Uh, and the goats, don't forget about the goat is where you tuck it behind. <laughs> And make sure, make sure you definitely call them the F word. I'm not going to say that on this channel, but, you know, <laughs> the fact that they, like, you know, we're going to do the gayest thing to you and then call you gay for looking Bruh, at us. I know. Hilarious. It was the most ridiculous thing ever. <laughs> just seen him kicking him in the ass. Freaking. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> we had sim- I mean, I think every restaurant has their, like, games that they play. You really do. I mean, like, and, and it could be anything from, like, something as simple as, like, you know, just messing with their checks oh, or yeah. things like like that or like I had this thing where I used to water bomb people. It's when if you oh, leave your uh, your thing open like mm-hmm. your your podium, yep. Man, I will add like 50 waters to your check and it will confuse the hell out of you. And it and it never shows up on the customer's check so no, they don't ever yeah. know, but it shows up on the computer. Mm-hmm. And I used to do that like all the time and I just also used to change the um what's it called, the sodas when they go out, I would change them to like Oh, you would the, change the fountains? Yeah, I would oh, put Dr Pepper that's on Diet fucked. Coke and stuff like that. I, oh. I want to play a game straight up. Hell yeah! <laughs> How bad do you want Sprite today, motherfucker? <laughs> and How I would bad? wait. I would wait till the customer like <laughs> my mouth, my diet, my diet tastes like Dr Pepper. And they look Ian. I'm like, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what y'all talking about. I don't know. I didn't do nothing. <laughs> I haven't left her back here at all all day. Like Kent, 
Kent, you vouch yeah, for yeah. me, right? Exactly. You know I mean? yeah, okay. yeah, I was right. over here. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think the penis showing game parts and, you know, him just showing, like, the like um, the, the, the training aspect of being mm. in a restaurant. I thought that was spot on. And I like how they yeah. didn't let the guy talk the whole time. Oh, no, until yeah. Until the end of the movie. Yeah, and Kent's then he, and then he just, like, went off the rails after that. It's like, it's like fuck you and fuck you. Fuck you, you fucking sons of... Like, it... Ah, it, uh, uh, God. Like, and that really is, like... What's funny is, like, you, you see both sides of it because they have, like, the nice, you know, tight mm-hmm. lit, you know, tight shirt, you know, button-down type yep. training, and then there's the actual way to fucking train somebody where Absolutely. it's just like, all right, listen, man, I'm gonna need you to know it's gonna be do or die during lunchtime. Exactly. You're either gonna get rolled with or rolled the fuck over. You yep. feel me? All right, cool. Lock, cock, red rock. Let's do this shit. <laughs> it, you know, it, it's it, it's it, doggy dog. Real talk. It, it really is. It you know, really and is. and like and that comes down to like your money to like working in the environment that you're with to the people that you work with too. Because right. trust me, there are personalities out there that you will work with uh-huh. and that you will clash with. Absolutely. And you never know who it's going to be, and it could be some guy who's been there for 15 years, or it could mm-hmm. be somebody that's off the street that's been there for two days. I want to say I want to leave us one thing, man. This mm-hmm. is the realest scene in the movie. It's not the funniest scene in the movie, but it was mm-hmm. like something that's always left with me. There's a scene where the bald dude—I forgot his name—the guy from um, Anchorman. He plays a manager. He's a weirdo in the yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So there's a scene where he's all like, "You know what makes?" Something makes you extraordinary or an extraordinary. It's that little extra. That little extra. And you know, it's it's a funny scene, but he's absolutely right. Bro. You know, anything that's a little <laughs> extra makes you really unique. I thought that was actually a legit pretty dope line. And you know what's really crazy? Is like that leading up to to one of the main characters basically just like saying, you're like, you know what? Yeah, fuck this. And like quits his job, just pulls the plug and everything. He's like, you are right. The extra, definitely. <laughs> I'm going to go do that somewhere else, not fucking here. <laughs> and, like, you know, every now and then you do have people that do that shit, you know, just like, yeah, I need to get the fuck out of here and, like, get my shit together and do something else. Yeah. And some people are just like, <laughs> I love doing this. What do you mean? I'm not going anywhere. You have to fire me exactly. before I leave. And so. there's there's no shame in being a server, seriously. Nah, it's good yeah. money if you do it right, if correctly. I think mm. you should always respect those people. Um, another thing I want to laugh about is Ryan Reynolds was pretty much a pedophile in this movie. It was oh really my god, weird. dude! It what was, was that about? It was so fucking cringy and like, yeah. It, it, At the time, it's funny, but now it's just like uh, that's my only gripe about the movie is like you're really trying to fuck this seventeen year old chick. Bro, it was so you could bad. do so much better, Ryan. What's like, wrong with you? And on top of that, it's like it's like you're working with your ex and like yeah. and like doing all that on top of that. Oh yeah, like, I forgot about that. He was yeah, working with his ex, and it's like, bro, fucking <laughs> just. Mm. That was just, just weird. Uh-uh. It was just really. I think uh-uh. even Ryan Reynolds acknowledges that part. Yeah, he was pretty. Was like that was a bit much. But <laughs> like I said, very precise. We all know that there's restaurants hey, with people. Usually, you know. it's on the manager end of things, though. Usually, yeah, it's on the manager. You're absolutely end. right. Because right. it's like it's that position of power that like, mm-hmm. oh, I could easily exploit this situation. You know, I could use this to my advantage type shit. So I've seen it. I've watched it go very poorly. I've watched people get fired. People get arrested. Shit's, shit's got real. No, no, seriously. Shit's gotten very real He's before. 100% right on Yeah, right. so. Well, Rob the Noob, I really appreciate you bringing this movie to, to the um, to the review because this is one of my mm-hmm. underrated comedies ever. I think it really is. Everybody, if you've not seen Waiting, I've mm-hmm. never seen the sequel, actually. Have you seen the sequel? Ah, uh, you know. I know it's like a straight-to-DVD movie, but. It, yeah, there's a reason why. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. You know, there were certain points where it was good, and then it just, like, the rest of the film just kind of, just you're just floundering the entire time. You're just like. I guess I'll keep watching it because it's. I'm yeah. gonna hope something good is gonna come of this. But well, I it, heard yeah. Andy Milanopoulos went to the second one as well. I, I thought I love yes. Andy Milanopoulos. You kind of look like Andy Milanopoulos <laughs> with a beard on. <laughs> I know I'm thick and I have childlike features, but I mean, goddamn dog. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, shoot, man. What do you guys think of Waiting? Do you love Waiting? If you if you think it's an overrated movie, let me know. If you think it's an underrated movie, let me know. And if you like to see us do another review, let us know in the comments. Uh, help subscribe subscribe to the channel and help my stuff because you got to help keep a brother off the streets. Love, peace, and chicken grease.